Hello everybody, how y'all doing? This is Lisa with Living Life with Lisa and I'm getting ready to bounce around. There, past the rough, rough start of, nope, we didn't. Wish they'd work for all, stop. Wish they'd fix that road. They keep tearing up the ones that already work and keeping them down, but they don't come and take care of ours. So, anyway, uh, this is actually not a vlog about my road, but I have to talk about it sometimes. Um, haven't been on here for a while. I have not been feeling good. I got a, another case of bronchitis. It didn't last very long. The worst of it anyway um, and I now have new symptoms so I go back to the neurologist on the 15th and um, the nurse practitioner that I see every other visit that I'm seeing this time um, is one of those that one problem per visit <laughs> so I uh, I called up there and my hands, I keep having problems um, that when I tried to work on my phone, like it jumps around and hits the wrong button and jerks and stuff. It's just, and it's not all the time, but it's just weird. It's like they have a mind of their own. They just kind of jump and do stuff. And um, so I told, I called up there and told them so that we could talk about this visit if that be the one thing that we talk about then that would be the one thing because <laughs> um, I don't know what that could be you know so um, it's not normal not for me and so and it doesn't always last it comes in like spurts um, you know, it'll last for like 20 minutes, and um, it used to be like once in the blue moon, and now for the last few days, it's been every morning when I get up, or when I every time I get up, and it just, you know, I have to hurry up because my hands like hop. I don't know. I really don't know how to explain it. Um, they jerk around, and so. Like if I'm trying to do a comment and press something, then something else comes up, and uh, you know I just can't even I can't even use my phone uh, when my hands are doing that uh, because nothing's going to come out right. And so that's sorry about that. I was just getting a call from a teacher. I tell you what, it's not a good day for any of my kids. I'm going up to the high school to drop off instruments for the ball game tonight. And actually one's doing okay. And they're, the two high schoolers are doing okay. One's in a panic because he lost his Chromebook. But the thing is, is Chromebooks just don't disappear. So it's not at home and it's not on the bus. And so I'm thinking he left it on the bus and somebody else picked it up uh, but we don't know yet and so he's in a panic and I don't blame him uh, the other one just forgot his instrument so I'm taking it to him now I have to have on their secondary clothes um, so I have to go home and wash one set and then the little one has decided that to do his homework I do some of it, but not turn it in. So, uh, that's not going to be, that's not, I'm, I'm sorry they waited till the last day of the gritty period to call me. They should call me earlier. I get on him, but he went through his bag and found all this stuff that he said that um, either got forgotten at home or the cat tore up. Uh, peed on and the cat doesn't pee on his stuff and 
then he wanted to blame the fact that he's ADD. I said, no, he's on medicine. It makes him normal. Can't use that as an excuse. So, uh, he's the one out going to have a rough weekend because she's going to give him everything. He's got to get everything done over the weekend. And so she put in the grade book before Thursday. And that's just one of the classes. That's not even the class that she found all the homework in in his bag. So, anyway, I was talking about my new symptoms when um, I got the call. And I tell you what, you know, and I play double duty. I play mom and dad. I actually went for donuts with dad today. Um, the kid. Um, I was probably not going to see internet until after Christmas. Uh, so... I hope he gets it taken care of because I don't want this mess. I don't want it. Alright. Now I'm going to go take stuff to the the eldest. I see you in a bit. Well, go home and watch. No. Go home and wash um, the secondary secondary uniforms, and then drop those back off. And I'll bring um, young Jesse up here when I bring him off, so I can bark at him the whole time. I'm kind of actually I need to come before he gets home, so that won't work. But it's just me and him, and I'm gonna harp so much that he, he won't be able to stand it. Because they hate that a lot. And when they hate it, it becomes a punishment. If it works. So, anyway. So, I think we're going to get everybody taken care of don't have to worry about dinner for the older ones because dinner's being provided and it'll be just me and Jesse and the game doesn't start doesn't kick off it's not till 7 30 so uh, and it's raining so I imagine the two of us are gonna be the band um, I'll go in for halftime go home and then turn around and do this all again tomorrow for a contest and um, I had a problem because Jesse was having a game the same time as that you're at as the boys were performing but you know kids that don't do their homework and can't turn their ho or do their homework and can't turn it in then they need they don't need to be um, participate in extracurricular activities. Uh, it's just not an option. But it's a grades are dropping. So that takes care of that problem. He won't be cheering tomorrow. And then we just have one more band contest after that. Oh, and I was going to tell you, that band thing I put up, I just let them put up the thumbnail on YouTube. I talk at the beginning and the end just to say what I did. Somebody had requested to kind of see what a band contest was like and so I uh, did a few cl clips of um, some shows and put them on there and then but our band I put the entire entire show on there <laughs> just come up just because I'm a little biased so anyway I'm just worried about the new symptoms because I have an idea of what it means and I don't like that idea, but there's nothing you can do about it. You know, it is what it is. And if that's the case, then um, I don't know. I don't know what that means in the prog progression of um, the dementia. I don't know 
if it's if it even be related. I don't know how you tell the difference. I don't know if it makes it go faster. I don't know. And I've been feeling a whole lot better on my apple juice oil. And um, then I've been having trouble for the last couple of weeks staying on topic I can't I can't seem to finish if I get sidetracked at any point then I start going a different direction and so I need to go up on the strength of the oil and that's the only thing I don't do um, it's worrying me And it upsets me because I cannot I don't have the luxury of being sick I don't I don't I don't have the luxury of having dementia um, because I'm raising these boys and I have to be as normal as I can be for their sake I don't have the luxury of having anything else because um, I have to be normal for these boys So, I don't know. It's probably a good thing. It's probably helping hold off the worst. Um, because I couldn't fight any harder than I am right now. I'm requiring a lot more sleep than I usually do. And it's... I'm thinking, though, that that might be low iron. Because... Uh, I can't stay off the ice and when my iron is really good uh, I like the ice but it's not it's not a have to thing and so if my iron is low then my energy level is going to be low all right, so there's all kinds of things probably going on could be my thyroid's not just right with it but it takes three months to know whether or not it's effective so I think it's been about that long since I changed it so um, it's too late to call them I have to call them on Monday um, to see about maybe getting my thyroid checked and my iron checked and oh the good news I don't hear any good news Good news is that um, toward the second, towards the end of the month, uh, end of October, um, oh, I thought it's been cold. Uh, Nicole is going to go on third shift, and life will get back to somewhat normal. Um, she has to figure out her sleep schedule and all that, but. Um, she says when she gets on third, there's no reason we can't go back and uh, do like we did. So, yay. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to that very much. So, because she has such such the calming effect on me. Like, I can't, I don't even know how to explain it. You know, she's just so self-spoken and everything so um, that's my good news and I'm very excited about that good news so um, hopefully things will get back to normal here in about um, three or four weeks maybe not even that long and you know, relax a little bit so take some of the pressure off Remember, live life to the fullest, live life with no regrets, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.